what's going on, everybody? It's How To Tuesday today. And what we've been doing on How To Tuesday lately is exploring knots and how to tie them. There are plenty of videos on how to tie the knots, but there are not many sort resources on how to tie the knot to make it the strongest or to test the strength. There's some out there, but not that many. I have some things that I wonder about all the time. One of those is how many turns should you make on a knot that you use all the time? A knot that I use a lot is the uni knot. The uni knot can be used all the way through your entire system. It's the most popular video I've ever filmed, um, probably 8 million views or more and counting on YouTube right now. Um, about the uni knot and the interesting thing about the way that I did that video is that the uni knot was to tie the hook on it was to you use a double uni knot to go from the the leader to the braid another uni knot to go from the uh, double uni for the braid back to some mono that is the, your backing on your reel and then a uni knot around the arbor of the reel so one knot you can use throughout your entire system it was very popular and uh, it's a very good knot for that so today what we're going to do is i've already prepared i've tied a uni knot with four turns with five turns with six turns and with seven turns and we're going to see if the difference in the number of turns is going to make a significant difference in the strength of the knot. So right now we're going to go with uni knot with four turns. Uh, we're using consistent pound test and consistent material across all of these knots. I tied them in, in one sitting all the same. I tied them with the Daiwa Fluoro Leader 15 pound. We're using the next tech force tester and this is the four turn uni knot the uni knot will generally slip down before it breaks so that's what we just happened and i'm going to pull wow very strong 14.1 pounds four turns 14.1 pounds pretty good pretty good okay here we go with five turns Okay, reset this. 14.1 pounds. That's pretty good. Okay, five turns. Pull that down. And here we go, pulling five. Wow, very strong. 14.45 pounds for five turns. Step up to six turns. Pull that down just like the others. Now it's all consistent. Reset. And this is six turns. Hmm. 10.19 pounds. That's strange. Don't know why that would have happened. That six turns was less, that much less, significantly less. Occasionally you'll have a knot that just doesn't tie as well as you might want. Okay, pull this one down with seven turns, reset, and I'm going to pull this to breaking strength. Seven turns, 13.61. Okay, so what do we learn from this? We learn that four turns, Jake, four turns was the most? Four turns on the uni knot was the strongest. Five turns, what was the weakest? Six? Five. So five turns was the weakest. I think that you can take the 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 weakest one and throw it out as maybe that knot didn't tie exactly properly. Um, but 13.1 for seven turns, um, that's a pound of difference, right? That's that's a pound of difference. That's the difference between catching a fish and not catching a fish. Four turns proved to be the strongest on 15 pound fluorocarbon. Uh, I encourage you to do your own test and see um, if you have a scale that you can use and use your own uh, leader material and, and try this for yourself if the uni knot is one that you tie regularly. Uh, we did the improved clinch last week and did the same thing four turns five turns six turns seven turns we determined that the approved clinch with 15 pound uh test was significantly less str strength it was a weaker knot than the 
uh, uni knot. So one thing that you can learn immediately is that the uni knot with any number of turns is better than the improved clinch with any number of turns. I use the improved clinch a lot. Permit fishing, when we're using a 25 pound leader and 10 pound test, um, I find that it's, it's plenty strong. And, and if you're using 25 pound and your breaking strength of your line is around 10 pound test, you shouldn't have any problem with it. But if you're looking for a strong leader to hook connection and you are trying to go between the improved clinch and the uni knot, the uni knot has proven that it is stronger with any number of turns. And the sweet spot for today was four turns with 15 pound test. The others were slightly less, but I thought that we would see bigger differences between the number of turns. Try it for yourself. Send me a text at 305 305- 9307346 let me know what your findings are because um we need to help each other and the knots are controllable these are things that we can make a decision about the night before that can really make you a better fisherman or not one fish can be the difference between winning a tournament and not winning a tournament one fish can be the difference between keeping one of your customers very very happy or having them be very very disappointed a knot can make all the difference in the world. So control the controllable, use the strongest knots you can, practice these knots, test these knots, and uh, share that with me because I'm super interested in it. I think this is the easiest way that we can all become better is to do things like this, like to refine your tackle and make sure that you're using the strongest tackle there so that as you are doing this, you're putting one or one percent or two percent or maybe even ten percent towards your advantage right we need all of that because fishing is a sport that uh there are so many things that are out of your control the weather the fish wild animals other boats lots of different things are out of your control so what you can do is you can take care of all the things that are within your control just like this. That's what How To Tuesday is about. And we'll see you with the next one, another How To Tuesday next week. See you.